um, bald. <laughs> Repeat of last week, cannot wait. All right then, Clive. Thanks again. No, you've done great this week. You've done great All this right, week. Stop now. All right then. <laughs> Team, we ready? So let's count down from 20. 20? We'll go from 10. Maybe three. We'll go three, Clive. Give us a three. Three, two, one. You stop it! We're live now. Yeah. Are we live now? Yeah. Welcome to Couples in Quarantine episode two. We're back in bed where we belong. And we're not back in bed, we haven't moved from <laughs> bed because we're currently a couple and we are in quarantine. So, last week was an absolute hit. We've had thousands of responses and thanks and praises from couples all over the nation. I feel like we're really saving the relationships out there. I feel like the divorce papers can now be, you know, filed back in the cabinet for a little bit, little bit longer. <laughs> for now. For now. So we did cover some fantastic points, whether that be cheating, Money issues. Bad, bad communication. communication. They're just some of the amazing points that we cover and we feel like we really, really did resolve some issues that you might encounter during this terrible time of quarantine. So we did come up with eight great tips to help you guys nationwide. I would actually stop you there and argue that point and say we might have helped couples worldwide. They were that good, our eight facts. Fair. And as we've been sat in this bed, we've established that, you know, cheating, that's not an issue between us two, because I love you. But in quarantine, that love's not going to change. I'm not going to cheat on you. One thing we did establish is my hair's getting terrible, okay? And that could be point number nine, that we really need to nip in the bud before the relationship is on the rocks. So I'm sure a lot of people at home, the barbers are shut. I'm here to help you with point number nine. Number nine could have been the more aesthetic reasons why, you know, you might not be as attracted to your partner physically. So I spoke to Clive, the director. Clivey boy! Clivey boy was meant to bring in a French hairstylist as today's special guest on Couples in Quarantine. We keep things very cleansed, very anti-back, very professional here at Couples in Quarantine. Thanks, Clive. So instead, instead of getting Jean Saint Pierre, the hairstylist, in, Jack of all trades, my love, she's not only a perfect host, say like a host would say, Welcome to my show. Welcome to my show. That's her being an amazing host. She's also decided to take on her challenge today to become the hairstylist. She's stepping in as the hairstylist and she so kindly suggested that she's gonna cut my hair. And I'm sure there's many females out there who might want to do the same. This will be my first ever time oh cutting a male's hair. So what we did do, we did a bit of a poll on my Instagram. And you did one on yours. I did. And um, we gave you three options. It's a, B or C. That was either A, B or C. You guys chose C. How are you going to do that one then? Honestly, not a clue. Not he, a clue. He looks good. He looks good, but I feel like He's I... gorgeous. He's got like a chiseled chin and everyone that chose that one is going to be like, yeah, you're going to look sick. You forgot she's doing it. She's never cut anyone's hair. So it's not going to... I'm not going to look like wizard genetics up there. Um, he's gorgeous and I'm not going to have hair cut to the inch perfection. <laughs> that was definitely done by... The stylist that Clive, you were meant to book. I can't say I'm the most excited, but I feel like I'm just going to give it my best shot. The blending's going to be the hardest. Right, right who's next? Ah, oh, come on, sir. <laughs> no, my God. That's literally to. You know when you're in the actual barbers and your usual barber's not in, and that like, guy in the corner who's clearly terrible at like, cutting hair goes, Who's next, please? And he stares at you. That's what I felt. I haven't got a choice. But, right, what else happens in barbers? They say, hi mate, can I get you a drink? Can I get you a drink? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Well, I have a slurp of my Excite drink over there. Oh, it's That's an energy drink. Nice. I'm going to need a caffeine kick. Right. What can I do for you? 
pretend we don't like we do know each other so i'm oh, going okay. for, we're going i'm going for c i was in the studio with you up yeah. there a minute ago yeah, so i'm was. getting c and that is the no fringe gang yeah let's just do role okay. play so what would you like sir c please c which is the no fringe gang yeah that's the one you know the star you're going for though yeah yeah like basically that's just gonna be chopped off Oh, my father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And in the morning, you'll still say, Tom, your breath smells, but you still look fantastic. Promise? What's that? Jesus. Oh, God, it's clogged. I don't know if this is a one or not. Him, okay, so look at the hair. He's I think you gorgeous. should put him on the side just so I have a constant reference. Okay, we're going to put Mr. No Fringe Gang <laughs> just down the side. Oh, f balls. No, I'm not. <laughs> is that meant to be like that? I can't see, it's at the back of my head. Good job. Oh my god. Just commit, you've done it now. I can't walk around. One. I can't walk around with one line in my head now, so just commit. Okay, 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 okay. Don't make me nervous as well. My other barber fills me with confidence. I'm sorry. <laughs> Was booed on one of those suggestions? Can we just do a bit of role plays to fill me with confidence? Oh my god, I can see all your moles. The reason we're doing this is to rekindle the relationship, to strengthen the bond. I want you to wake up and go, oh, you've got a good haircut. I've never had no fringe and I'm letting Bailey for the first time do it. Um, <laughs> this is the skin fade. But it's only, it, it's not Use your toolbox. She's got an actual box down there. You won't be going to barbers ever again. <laughs> what would you think, Tom? I don't know, I can't really see. You're denting that comb in my head awfully hard. Ow! <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that hand. Find the line, find, find the, the line. line, find the line. There's the line, and we go up. I feel is the best way. Oh, look at that. Is it all right? Is it all right? I'm sorry about that in your face, darling. Make pancakes, you can cook me dinner. Maybe what? Because this often happen. happen. Yes. Everyone's like, oh, do my home workout on Instagram. Don't worry about that. Get a friggin' haircut off your lover who's never done it before. Your <laughs> heart rate. My calorie count is up. Normally I've got three Turkish men on me, they're fantastic. I've got them like one with a blade, right. one doing my nostrils, one refusing my cheeks. Is it alright? Okay, we need to take some length off the top. Your scalp goes like in and out. Oh, so you're blaming the shape of my head. <laughs> How's it going, Rhiannon? I fancy you still, how about that? Yeah, good. Good? Yes. You have like two fingers. Yes, yeah, and then you do the, then you set the length. It's my base. That feels like a haircut. Yeah. I'm gonna close my eyes and let you do it. Like that. Bosh. How much are you taking off first? I don't know, I just went for it. Oh, we'll go. I think we're done. I think we're done. Man's got tech is on lockdown. You didn't use the comb then? Don't need to. Why are you keeping it up? <laughs> Why are you keeping it up? <laughs> just because I can see it. <laughs> Next time we go to barbers, they know we were at this. <laughs> <laughs> I was in quarantine. <laughs> You do remember that the hair is attached to my scalp, so every time you pull it, I do yeah. feel it. Do you want it there? I don't know. He looks sick. I think I'm gonna look just like him. <sighs> he has it quite high. Yeah. He has it like up here. Yeah. Let's go for the no fringe, guys. So. This is the okay. mo I'm most nervous about. I'm, I wish I had like a ruler. Don't look yet, please. Like, how's it looking? I'm nearly done, I think. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm gonna look great back in studio. That's it, shaking off. <laughs> Nothing you would ever shake can't do. Um, you see? It's got oh my Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, don't cry, Tom. <laughs> you told me to take it off. Yeah, I did. You said no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought it looked really good. No. Oh 
god. <laughs> Shall I take this bit off it's here? It's unique. Bring it out. Just chop it. <laughs> you look like a little kid. Hey, what's up, guys? How are we? Uh, yeah, do it. <laughs> Like that, so oh, that is all right. Yeah, yeah, let's get it all up. Oh, that's that's what I said. It's Jesus, I look good. Straight. I actually look good. <laughs> so we got the you know the shortcut there, and as we go around, it's a nice little uh, bald head. Can you can you style it up, please? Oh, it's not too bad. Genuinely, me just like it. What do you think? Can you go have a shower quick and then just wash it off? Really? Yeah. And style it? Yeah. We'll see you in two. Ah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Honestly, I fancy you. We're in quarantine, so let's be loving. I think it's an uncanny resemblance and she's done a fantastic That's job. That's very kind of you. <laughs> do you fancy me? Well, I feel like I could have done worse. But I could have done better. <laughs> Emphasis on could have done better. Hey, but I do feel a lot lighter, I feel a lot more nimble. Um, but guys, that has oh. been episode two, the quarantine haircut. Now I look good and the relationship's been rustled up and we've had a lot of fun, haven't we, Rihanna? Just say yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're not touching mine, that's all I'm saying. I'm not touching hers. Maybe we can compromise in a different way, yeah? Oh, <laughs> Rhiannon! Was that like sexual chat? Huh? I've misinterpreted the whole thing for getting ever said anything. I feel like you're a bit closer to me. I feel like we're closer in general. There you go. Anyway, Rhiannon Bailey, it's been an absolute pleasure again. We've been great. We're going to shake hands. But guys, thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you comment. Subscribe. Give it a like you like. Vibe. Vibe.